Hello friends, my name is Akash. In this video, we are going to learn how to update PPT table and chart using Excel PPA. This is my PPT table and this is my Excel chart. I have to update this chart and PPT using Excel PPA. I have already created a PPT table and chart in my PowerPoint application. I will go in visual basic. I am going to write this code so it chart and table we have to add the microsoft powerpoint object library go in tool section then reference you can add before doing this task in ppt app as new powerpoint dot up in PPT presentation as uh, PowerPoint dot presentation. Here I have to require left width height and top of the chart. So so here I have to declare variable team left as double team top as double dim height as double dim width as double and another we have required some variable dim r as integer dim c as integer now after declaring the variable i am going to open the our ppt presentation so we have to set ppt presentation equal to ppt app dot presentations dot open here i have required the ppt path i have created a ppt i am going to copy this path and paste Now I am going to update PPT table first, then I will update chart. So I am going to here comment the table update. Here I am going to use the loop for, for R equal to 2 to L row and for C equal to 1 to 4. I am going to use the loop for R equal to R for row equal to our data is from 13, 2 to 13. Next are going for the use for the column for C equal to 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 to 4. Now I am going to write the PPT presentation dot slides 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 is one dot shapes slides one dot shapes here I have to just you can go in the home page you can go in find and select selection panel uh, and you have to see here the chart name and here i have to just check go in the select selection panel you can see the our table name is table 3 so i have to give here name table 3 table 3 Then table dot cell R comma C 
here I am going to use R is comma C dot save dot text frame dot text range equal to sheet one dot cells R comma C dot value. Now I am going to update the chart. I am going to initialize the value in top left with at the top PPT presentations slides. Here I have to write the name. Uh, our chart name is chart six. So you have to just double quote chart six dot top. I'm just copy the entire line and paste it below. Paste it below to below. Now I'm going to change only top to width. Here I am going to change width, here the height, height, here is the left, after initialize the top width, height and left, I am going to delete the chart. presentations dot slides dot steps dot six dot delete after deleting I am going to copy our charts object from Excel and paste it over here so sheet one dot chart objects the chart name is uh, chart name is chart two so chart two dot copy after copying I am going to paste PPT presentation dot after pasting, I am going to going to use initialize the value in save. SHP equal to PPT presentations dot PPT presentation dot slides one dot saves. presentation after initialize the value in SSP I am going to copy this entire subroutine and uh, here I am going to just change SSP dot left equal to left and just copy this entire sub line and paste it over here, paste it over here, I am going to change here, wait, top, top, and left, uh, height. Now I am going to 
assign this macro on a save. Edit text update PPT table a chart. You can just increase the size as per your requirement. And I'm going to just right click assign micro update PPT and chart. Now I am going to click here. And you can see what happened. Right? Here is the variable not defined. I am going to define the variable name SSP as I am going to just click over here. You can see our chart is updating. You can see here our chart is updating one by one. But this chart is not on our the fixed position because I have not closed this. I will close this. Now I am going to click over here. You can see what happened. I have clicked here. You can see all the chart and PPT table has been updated one by one. That's all for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more updates related to this video. This is our code window. In this session, we have learned how to update PPT and chart using Excel video. I will copy the entire chart on my video description. You can just copy and practice in your system.